So today I'm going to teach you on how to access the graphical user interface of your router in order to change your wireless network name or to even hide it. So pretty much on all routers they have the same basic requirements to access it and you have to know first their um, default gateway. <laughs> All right, I've, I almost forgot the name or the term about that. So first of all, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the search button of your computer. Uh, I'm using a Windows 10 right now. So if you are using a Windows 7 computer, there should be a search bar over there. So all you have to do is to type in first the letters C, M, D for you to be able to find the command prompt. Press enter and you should see this black screen with a cursor blinking. Um, next thing that you have to do is to type in these letters IP config, short for IP configuration, I think. <laughs> All right, and there you will see the default gateway of your router. So if you do not memorize it, um, you can probably use a notepad and write it down. Okay, and then after that, you can just close it. Then you should open up a browser. All right, there it goes. And just copy and paste um, those numbers right there. Okay, so in most modems, the username uh, is usually admin. All right, and the default password would be one two three four sometimes one two three four five um, I would suggest try to ask your uh, internet service provider for that but for PLDT subscribers the modem password the default password is one two three four uh, in my case, I already changed it into my own one. <laughs> so click on login and you will see this page. All right. Now, as you can see, there are a few tabs on the left side and they said device information, wireless status, WAN status, LAN status, optical info, and VOIP status. So here, I'm going to teach you on how to change the network name and even hide it. All right. So all you have to do first is to click on the network tab, which is right here. Okay. And then as you can see, there's actually channels right there, uh, frequency or channel, but um, we're going to go to the advanced tab right here on the left side. There you are. So I actually have four. SSID choice. Uh, SSID is the name of the router. Uh, I will enable number one, of course, and this is currently the name of my wireless router, and this is currently the password that I have. So in order for me to change it, I would just have to type in anything right here. For example, I'm going to type in um, uh, love5683 for example <laughs> all right and for the blessing I would probably type in uh, let's say let's just choose one easy thing say and then um, say my name <laughs> all right and I'm gonna put zero nine so I'm going to keep on um, or keep this button right here in TKIP AES it's all right so um, next we have to make sure that this one is hidden, all right, if you want to hide your wireless network. But just in case you don't want to, you can uncheck it. But if you want to hide it, just check it and click on the apply button. All right, there you are. So next thing that you're going to do is to go to your devices, um, erase the current name of your wireless router from the list uh, that you see and add in manually add in the new SSID name so pretty much that's what you're going to do you just have to delete the name of your wireless router your current wireless router so in Windows 10 computers you just have to go to settings all right and go to network and internet go to Wi-Fi manage known networks 
Alright, and this one is the current name of my router. Just go ahead and click on forget. And it will automatically forget it. Uh, you just have to open up your wireless uh, network and you should manually add it there. I'll teach that to you on my next video, okay? <laughs> Alright, so I think that's all. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Thank you. Bye.